Hello everyone and welcome to the 7th International Ushak Short Film Festival. I'm Saran, a member of the festival and also a pre-jury last year. Uh, I'm very happy to welcome Florencia Dupont today to talk about her film uh, Visceral, which is elected for the official screening on the festival. Hello uh, Florencia, how are you? How are you feeling? Hi, well thank you a lot for the invitation. I'm very happy to be in this festival, when I, I get the email from Onur the first time, I was uh, really happy because it was really personal and uh, I was really amazed. So it's a pleasure to be here and I, I really hope you can enjoy the film. <laughs> uh, it's a very grotesque film, I have to say. I watched it several times and uh, that scene uh, uh, in front of the mirror is a big challenge for me because you did it so good. So real, the sound design and the images, the visuals are so real. It's so hard to watch. <laughs> uh, yes. So for our viewers, here's a short synopsis of the film. Um, Josefina lives trapped in a relationship, hiding her true desires from her husband, since they contradict what is expected of a married woman, being a mother. However, one afternoon, in the company of a couple of strangers, everything inside her will come to light in the least intended of ways. So, Florencia, I want to start by asking how the idea of uh, putting this on screen came to you. How it, did it develop? Well, um, I was uh, dealing with a real bad relationship, that's <laughs> kind of true. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I saw that many friends of mine were trapped in some kind of same relationships. And then a, a friend came to me and say, well, let's do a short film in the house of my grandpa. And okay, so I started to imagine these uh, situations and uh, I was reading uh, uh, a theater play, uh, Casta de Muñecas, um, the Ibsen, I don't know how the translation is, but the, the protagonist was always eating these uh, fruits to be uh, beautiful and happy. And then uh, the idea of these uh, teeth falling apart came to me and I say, well, it's, it, it's also with the, the image that you have and it's also a nightmare. Uh, I lost two teeth already, I, that's personal too. Oh my too. God. So <laughs> it was a, a strong image and I, I was also watching, uh, I like general films and drama as well, and the, the, to push the, the things to a limit when you can imagine. So the blood and all the stress mm -hmm. one has in their lives was in, in this place that is so intimate, that is the bathroom. Uh, so we, we work a lot with the, the, the actress, the protagonist, uh, to how we can uh, recreate the situation <laughs> that, that mm -hmm. seems real and, and to push it to, to another level. Uh, that's kind of, it was a puzzle and then the, 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 the parts of the film came together <laughs> to the experiment. <laughs> Yeah, it's not the first time you work with uh, this actress. You work with her on Victor, your previous film yes. as well. Um, yeah, I like her a lot. <laughs> um, it's, it really looks like this was a personal film to begin with. In the synopsis, it says that um, what is expected of her as a married woman, being mm. a mother, but there are so many, so many uh, little clues that it's not only just about being a mother, it's about everything because the husband is very yeah. controlling about the food, the clothes, when to bath, where to go, the stain on her lips, everything. And then he's very condescending. At the end of the day, they, he says that you did good for being, for being there, you know. Um, yes. And I think that so many people can relate to this. Uh, these are little notes that are given in an everyday life and then it just builds up and then this is what happens like in your movie your teeth starts to fall out uh, you see and I want to know that um, how did you build this up because 
at the end of the movie we see the same stills we saw at the beginning of the film, which I think means that everything is just go back to the beginning. Nothing changed yes. for her. Yes, I, I'm. Um, well, this this kind of uh, things. Like, I think she's trapped in in this house, in this relationship, in this life, and uh, I think many women has a uh, fear or are afraid to change, to to leave uh, behind those structures. Uh, I mean, uh, I have a husband, I have a house, I have a good job, but I'm not happy. But mm -hmm. what can I do to <laughs> to move forward? And it, it's hilarious because there is a lot of women, or a lot of men, a lot of person uh, that uh, lives trapped in this in this suffering. They they they, they don't move. And I think also uh, many women uh, with this change of uh, feminist uh, wave internationally start to see. I think the the other generation that the many things were wrong. We have to cook, we have to clean, the, the, the boy always have the, 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 we have to do control everything, serve mm -hmm. the coffee, uh, prepare the meal, uh, be nice, uh, be polite, uh, talk in, 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 in the enough, <laughs> not many. <Yeah. laughs> so there, there are the, the things that you accumulate and in, and in that point, uh, we are uh, about to uh, blow up. I think that was the feeling, and and I I think it sounds like um, a fiction, but it's uh, it's true. So at the end, it, everything starts over again because I wanted to 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 put that uh, sensation of being trapped, of being trapped mm -hmm. in in this place uh, or psychological place. And it really shows, uh, it really shows that. Um, I feel like you used the mirror as motive in this film because that's the only space that our protagonist is left on her own. Except this area, she is always surrounded with this limiting husband. And we also see this recurring mirror for every uh, every time something happens to her, for example, when she takes the pills first, and then this visceral activity happens to her, there's a kind of like a ritualistic uh, part of it, and then she go she goes back there when she cuts her hand. It's like an expression of what she's going through, looking at her own uh, reflection on the mirror. It's it's really interesting to see that because again you are on your own there with the mirror. How did you come up with the idea to use the uh, facilitate the mirror in this sense? Well, I I think the 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 house is always an, an intimate place, but when we have visits the only place where you can be alone is the bathroom it's because it's, yeah. it's still like that so uh, that's what's the place that is really uh, her space the husband is not there the the, the friends are not there and i think that the bathroom uh, and the mirror is just like you said uh, look into yourself and and sometimes we don't want to really look at the mirror but mm -hmm. and in that in that moments of stress or things that happen to us, we we go there and or she goes there and finally looks. At first, maybe she's not that, but when the, the teeth start to fall apart and and she has to face it because it's inevitable when you to look in, inside and to want to watch like physical, but it's also uh, to to. To preserve the, the that space that is um, so intimate, mm -hmm. and it, I thought it uh, because the house was uh, every house is built like that. So then the bathroom you don't share it with some other. So and in the bathroom there's always the mirror, and the mirror is well, I, it's something that it could be frightening. It, also, when it's dark, we we, we start uh, with uh, we. 
try this change of light and i i think when when the you look into the mirror and it's a few lights uh, it's like a nightmare because uh, you don't know what uh, is in front of you <laughs> you can look it right and uh, you can start imagining things and <laughs> that, that is uh, awful yeah. <laughs> i think there's a nice use of the lights as well going on and i feel like you like thriller movies compared yes. to your other movies as well uh, i want to know that uh, what are your next plans or projects are you going to do different kind of genres or are you going to get even more grotesque well uh, i'm now writing a film uh, that is a uh, a thriller, a fantastic thriller with a lot of drama, just mix those, uh, but in the next level, <laughs> with four <laughs> spirits and stuff. Another is a spider woman. <laughs> so uh, this was a, I, I really like thriller. I, I, lo I love Hitchcock. I love uh, to to work with the imagination, imagination what this, the spectator might think you, to generate some tension on not giving all the clues, you have to, I, I, maybe that's what's a mistake. In my first uh, short film, Victor, you must see it a lot of times because there are some uh, uh, security cameras and here is, I, I think it's simple in that way because there's a lot of conversation and a lot of uh, message, uh, Mm -hmm. of the society but i wanted to build some uh, thriller not only a drama to mix it and so i'm working now with uh, yeah, more general things yeah. okay more short films right no no uh, now i'm working on a future film my my first oh okay, but, okay. Well, <laughs> so we have to raise a lot of money to do it <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Are you going to shoot it in Chile or somewhere else? Uh, I think in Chile. Uh, it's, it's really hard to, to go to other places. Uh, when I'm from Argentina, so I would eventually love to be there shooting. But I don't know. I, we, I, I think first here and then we see what comes next. And that's it. Okay. Uh, well, I really like your film, and uh, you can find uh, all the films in the program at our festival website. Uh, Florencia, is there anything else you would like to add? I just wanted to thank a lot this, the, the, to the festival, to you, to Anur. I'm really happy to, to, to see the effort. <laughs> we are in the other part of the world, and I think the, the I make films because I love cinema and this kind of things is like a joy uh, to see that other people also love uh, to see films, to to organize this kind of event and uh, just to thank, to thank you all. And we thank you. Uh, we get to watch these amazing works from all these wonderful directors which uh, enlarges our vision and thank you so much for sharing your content with us. And uh, thank you for your time, Florencia. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.